First, let's talk about the credibility of Simohersh revealing of uh, Nord Stream pipeline's destruction. Uh, we know that you and Simohersh are friends for many years. You know him well. So uh, you mentioned that based on his previous comprehensive investigation experience and credibility for protecting the whistleblowers, uh, his article will be more reliable comparing to anyone trying to defame him. So tell us about the credibility of Simo Hirsch from your perspective. Well, one has to look at his record. Uh, he has revealed uh, many, many stories and been criticized for it. And then a few months later, it turns out the government has to have to admit, oh, yes, Mr. Hirsch had that correct. So um, he also has an unblemished record for protecting his sources. Seymour Hirsch, for his part, has been very, very careful not to give information that would reveal the source. And we also saw that uh, whether the State Department spokesperson Ed Price and uh, even the White House spokesperson, they only saying that this is the fake news, but without providing any clear evidence to defuse uh, Hearst's report. So how could we understand this kind of situation? Well, they have no countervailing evidence because there isn't any. Uh, what there is, and uh, Professor Jer uh, Jeffrey Sachs made this point clear, it's that uh, Sweden, uh, Sweden knows every inch of that uh, Baltic Sea surface near Sweden. They went down with their divers and with all their specialized equipment shortly after the blowing up of these pipelines and made an investigation. And they came back up to the air and people said, what'd you find? And they said, we can't tell you. It's classified. It would endanger national security. <laughs> so well, we, when we were at the UN, um, the Nordic people, the, the countries there, Denmark and Netherlands, I think, and, and even Germany had, had issued a paper saying, look, we're going to continue the investigation that the Swedes did and we'll just leave it to us. We we do this thing, please. We'll just trust us. <laughs> and of course, the Russian answer was, uh, well, this is the UN Security Council. This was a act of war. Is it beyond the capability of the UN Security Council to investigate this in an independent investigation? Well, for suggesting that, uh, Jeffrey Sachs, a pr professor at Columbia, and I were criticized as conspiracy theorists, right? The only representative at that Security Council meeting who took a strong stand for the obvious utility of an independent investigation was the Chinese representative who came out and said, well, this doesn't make any sense. Why can't we do this? Of course we should do this. <laughs> Now, they will have to vote on this because it is a resolution. No one expects it to pass because the U.S. could veto it and get France and Britain to veto it too. But just showing that to the public, just making that information available, pretty much uh, for, for any reasoned person can sort of smell a rat here. Why don't they want an independent investigation?